Chinese President Xi Jinping has ordered a major overhaul of the PLA with extensive focus now to bolster China's cyber warfare capabilities. In modern era of warfare, control of information is a game changer. Keep that in mind and breaking away from traditional structures, the one of the world's highest military has established new independent units dedicated to information, space and cyber operations, marking the most extensive shakeup in nearly a decade. China will now be terminating its strategic support force, an eight-year-old organization created to enhance capabilities in space, cyber and electronic warfare. One thing is now certain. The Chinese military is ready for anything adversaries might throw at it and win conflicts with relative ease. Today's episode will uncover the recent shakeup of Chinese military, which has added new units determined to succeed in modern warfare. President Xi Jinping has ordered the creation of a new branch called the Information Support Force. As stated by the Chinese Defense Ministry, the aerospace and cyber units previously under the Strategic Support Force will now be placed in tandem to the newly created Information Support Force. China recently underwent a significant restructuring of its military, marking the most extensive shakeup in nearly a decade. This overhaul saw the dissolution of the old strategic support force, replaced instead by the establishment of three new independent units within the People's Liberation Army (PLA). the Information Support Force, the Aerospace Force, and the Cyberspace Force. The Information Support Force takes on a pivotal role in the gathering, analysis, and protection of critical information, as well as the construction of communication networks. President Xi Jinping emphasized the importance of this force, stating that it holds a significant responsibility in driving the military's advancement and ensuring success in modern warfare. In words of Xi Jinping himself, control of information is vital to winning a modern war. One of the key figures leading the Information Support Force is Lieutenant General Bi Yi, whose extensive military experience includes serving as the deputy commander of the PLA Ground Force. This newly formed force shows China's recognition of the strategic importance of information warfare in contemporary military operations. Information is everything in today's world. Combine that fact with military information, and you just might have the right tools to win a war. In some cases, this development might even let a nation win a war before it even begins. This is exactly what China and its military is hoping to achieve. Fascinating, isn't it? In addition to the Information Support Force, China introduced the Aerospace Force, aimed at enhancing the country's capabilities in outer space. This move aligns with President Xi's directive to strengthen China's presence and proficiency in both cyberspace and outer space, which he identified as emerging domains of strategic significance. We've already seen nations using satellites to gather information on rivals. Why should China be any different and not use such technology to its own advantage? With these satellites providing real-time, high-resolution imagery and intelligence from virtually any location on Earth, military planners gain unprecedented situational awareness and the ability to monitor adversary activities with precision. This access to timely and comprehensive data enables swift responses to emerging threats, enhances operational effectiveness, and facilitates long-range reconnaissance and surveillance missions. Moreover, satellite technology offers a strategic advantage in remote and inaccessible regions, allowing for covert operations and intelligence gathering without the need for ground-based assets. As a result, harnessing satellite capabilities can significantly enhance military superiority and reshape the landscape of modern warfare. The Cyberspace Force, another newly established unit, focuses on fortifying national cyber defenses, detecting and neutralizing network intrusions, and safeguarding information security. These efforts show China's acknowledgement of the growing importance of cybersecurity in safeguarding national interests and maintaining stability in the digital age. Gathering information on rivals is fine, but protecting own information is also extremely important. The restructuring of the PLA signifies an out-of-the-box strategy to adapt to evolving security challenges and technological advancements. Think of it this way. By dividing the military into specialized branches, China aims to enhance its operational effectiveness and responsiveness in an increasingly complex security environment. This restructuring also shows President Xi's commitment to modernizing the PLA and streamlining its operations. Previous reforms, such as the reduction of military personnel and the reorganization of military commands in 2015, were part of broader efforts to enhance the PLA's combat readiness and efficiency. We've covered multiple episodes in regards to that, so be sure to check our recent episodes if you'd like to explore the earlier restructure in depth. However, alongside these reforms, there have been reports of corruption within the military ranks. 
allegations of corrupt practices within the old strategic support force have surfaced, with former Defense Minister Li Shangfu implicated in potential wrongdoing related to equipment development. These allegations show that the challenges China faces in ensuring transparency and accountability within its military establishment. However, we've also learned that President Xi is not taking corruption lightly, as the PLA had a huge draft recently in light of military corruption. Despite these challenges, the restructuring of the PLA underscores China's determination to assert itself as a formidable military power on the global stage. By investing in emerging domains such as information, space and cyberspace, China seeks to bolster its strategic capabilities and safeguard its national interests in an increasingly contested geopolitical landscape. As China unveils its most significant military overhaul in nearly a decade, the world watches closely to discern the implications of these strategic changes on global security dynamics. There is one important question that comes into mind here. How might China's restructuring of its military impact its relationships with neighboring countries and major geopolitical rivals? In truth, certain Western nations have always been jealous of China's growing military prowess, so you can only imagine how the response from that side would be. But from neighboring nations, China hasn't had any complaints, so for now, time will answer our questions, and we can only speculate. The establishment of the Information Support Force servers to show the growing importance of information warfare in modern conflicts. In an era where information is increasingly weaponized, controlling the narrative and securing critical data have become essential components of military strategy. In an age dominated by information, the battlefield extends beyond physical borders, revealing the digital realm where cybersecurity and information dominance win conflicts. While China's military restructuring aims to enhance its capabilities and readiness, it also shows broader geopolitical plans, including the pursuit of technological supremacy and the projection of power beyond its borders. Despite the ambitious reforms, challenges remain, particularly in tackling corruption within the ranks of the PLA. The allegations of misconduct within the old strategic support force highlight the need for greater transparency and accountability within China's military establishment, something President Xi is already working on. This restructuring of the PLA not only shows China's evolving military doctrine, but also its broader strategy to assert itself as a dominant player in the global arena. By investing in cutting-edge technologies and reshaping its military structure, China aims to reshape the balance of power in its favor. For now, this seems little but in the long run, PLA will reign supreme. All in all, China's military restructuring represents a significant step in its quest for military modernization and strategic dominance. By establishing specialized units for information, space and cyber operations, China aims to adapt to evolving security challenges and assert its influence in an increasingly contested geopolitical landscape. However, the success of these reforms hinges not only on technological advancements, but also on addressing internal challenges such as corruption and ensuring transparency within the PLA. As China continues to assert itself as a global military power, the world watches closely to discern the implications of these strategic changes on regional stability and international security. With much about the recent shakeup of Chinese military, which has added new units determined to succeed in modern warfare covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we will see you in the next one.